Hey there, guys and gals. This is Barbie Figueroa, and welcome to another episode of Thrive Themes Thursday. Today, we're going to show you how to connect your Thrive Leads WordPress plugin with the AWeber autoresponder, and it is so gosh darn simple to do that you can get your kid to do it. So if you want to learn how to connect your Thrive Leads opt-in forms with AWeber, then keep on watching. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this week's episode. Uh, please, when you have a chance, right after this video, make sure to go visit my website at www.barbiefigueroa.online. I've got some really cool resources for you on my website. And uh, if you go ahead and just like and subscribe to my channel, uh, you'll get notified of some cool marketing videos that I have coming at you uh, basically five days a week now. Um, but I am still dedicating Thursdays to Thrive Themes. Um, and what I want to also share with you is that if you haven't done so already and you are, you know, you haven't set up your blog yet, you haven't just got anything really going yet, or you're struggling to do it all by yourself, I'd like to invite you to go over and download my free, absolutely free build a blog cheat sheet where I walk you step by step on how to launch your very first authority website online. You'll learn everything from domain registration to what hosting you should be using to installing Thrive Themes into your new WordPress installation. I walk you through using eight videos to show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so make sure that if you haven't set up your blog already and you know that doing a WordPress blog is for you, just click on the learn more now button, enter your name and email on the next page, and I will deliver those videos to you right away. All right. So, okay, guys, so let's get right to it. Okay, so here we are at my Thrive Themes installation, and we have, uh, we're here at the Thrive Leads dashboard. Now, when you go to the Thrive dashboard, uh, it's really, really cool the way that Thrive Themes is set up. They are like, I mean, one of the things I really love about Thrive Themes is that they are like a marketing portal, all right? So if you don't want to use third-party um, services like ClickFunnels or lead pages, and you want to house everything on your WordPress site so that you own and control everything and you don't have to continue to pay out monthly fees, okay? Thrive Themes is designed for the entrepreneur that wants to basically have more control over their over their whole business, all right? So that's why I really love Thrive Leads. So when you install Thrive Themes, um, you get, uh, well, with the developer license or with the personal license, you get everything, right? So you get the Thrive Leads, you get uh, all the plugins and all that stuff. So as you start installing things, you'll see that this dashboard fills up. I don't have every single thing installed right now, but you can see that as I'm, as I'm, uploading plugins and stuff this will start to fill out okay so what we want to do is we want to go straight down to the manage connections all right now you'll see i should have a weber set up and if i don't oh i do okay so let's delete this okay so we can start from scratch okay so i mean it is really truly simple to do so this is how simple thrive themes has uh, has gives you the ability, I should say, to connect a Weber. All you have to do is click on add a new connection. Now, let me just say that with some of these, you have to go and find a key. Uh, I know with Active Campaign, you got to go find like an actual key that you have to copy and paste in here. I love the way a Weber has a Weber is very API friendly. Um, and it uh, just connects automatically, and I really, really love that. Um, so all you have to do is go ahead and click on AWeber, and it's going to ask you to go ahead and connect. So now you're going to authorize AWeber, and it's a really simple process. It's just going to say sign in to give Thrive Leads and Thrive Themes access to your AWeber account. That way it can connect to the lists that are on your account, and then you can just go ahead and connect uh, your opt-in forms to your AWeber list, which is super duper simple and awesome. And I totally love that. So let's go ahead and put allow access. 
Okay, so now as you can see, the AWeber connection is already ready. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> Thread Leads is connected to AWeber, okay? Now I have a, I'll have a tutorial right below this video that shows you how to actually create an opt-in form. Um, so you want to go ahead and check out that video uh, right in the description box. I show you exactly how to create a simple lead capture form in, um, in Thrive uh, Themes, okay? Now, with the whole introduction of Architect, things have changed a little bit, okay? And I don't want this video to go too long, um, but what I'm going to do is, since we're here, I am going to walk you through the process of getting everything uh, up and running, okay? So let's do it. So now that we're using Thrive Architect, things are a little bit different. So let me go ahead and click on a uh, new page, okay? And I'm gonna go to edit with Thrive Architect. Actually, I'm gonna name it first. So we're gonna call it test opt-in form. And I'm gonna save the draft, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and edit it with Thrive Architect. What we're gonna do once we're here, we are going to choose a landing page template, okay? Now this is what it looks like when you uh, log into Thrive Architect for the first time. Uh, not very attractive, right? So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and select a um, we want to go ahead and select a, a template. So let's go to template setup and we want to go to choose a landing page, okay? And again, we're going to create something super duper duper simple, all right? Um, so let me see. I want, uh, let me see, I just want the one step, okay, um, let me see, let's go to lead generation, here we go, okay, let's see, I want a very simple page, I did, the one that I did was on this one, so I'll link that tutorial down below, um, Let's go ahead and choose this one. Mini squeeze page two. All right. So let's choose this template. Let's keep it really simple. Okay, so you want to go ahead and obviously you want to adjust your copy and change your copy, okay? But here's where we connect a Weber, okay? So now that we have this highlighted, okay, make sure that the lead generation box is highlighted. We want to go ahead and connect the form to the service, okay? So let's connect the form to the service, and now we have a, uh, the AWeber API already here. So we want to just go ahead and click on that, okay? And then you can reload your list. So if you just created a new list in AWeber, you want to go ahead and make sure that you reload your list. That way uh, it's refreshed and it's going to select from all, all the you know latest ones that you have. So we're just going to go ahead and go with this one. Uh, since this is an old list that I don't use anymore. And so we're going to go ahead and click continue. Okay. Now let's say, for example, you want to collect phone numbers. You can totally collect a phone number. All right. And I'll just put that here and I'll put the name is required and the phone number is required. And now what you have is the option is to either reload the page. So if it's like a, a an opt-in form that's inside a blog or something like that, maybe you want to use this function. Uh, if you're doing a little sales funnel, you want to go ahead and redirect to a custom URL. And if you are on a um, you know a page that uh, again it could be a blog post or something like that, you just want to show a success notification. That way they don't actually leave the page you would choose this. Now, if you choose this, you have to make sure that you have a page already set up, okay? So obviously, you need to have a funnel planned out if you're gonna redirect it to a custom URL. So just for now, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna redirect it to a YouTube video really quickly, just to have an example. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put my YouTube channel in here, and that way when we enter our name and email, it'll go ahead and it'll forward to my YouTube channel. 
So, so if we want to now edit the actual form elements, okay, all you have to do is click on edit form elements, okay? So let's say if you want to shift these around, you can shift them around, all right? So if you want the email, the name, the email, and the phone, or if you want to switch this around, you can go ahead and switch that around. Um, or if you want to go ahead and change this right here to best email, you can do that, okay? Uh, you can add an icon here if you want to using Thrive Architect. Um, you can put here phone optional. All right, so you can do those things. And then you're going to go ahead and click save when you're done. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to exit Thrive Architect. Well, we can preview it. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to exit. Okay, so I want to go back to my test opt-in form. And then we're going to go ahead and we are going to publish it. And let's take a look at it. And let's test it. And it's going to end up in my YouTube channel. And for some reason, Safari crashes when I put my YouTube channel. So let me get out of here. I gotta remind myself to use Chrome, guys. Is it, anyone else there? Anyone else have a Mac and have so many issues with Safari? I have so many issues with Safari when I go to YouTube or when I try to use certain applications. I don't know what it is. But for me, Chrome seems to be more stable. So I have to definitely remember to log into Chrome uh, the next time because it just, it gives me uh, lots of issues. It's kind of frustrating. But anyway, you got the point, right? So now you know how to connect your Aweber. It's a simple, quick API connection. And then you can create a quick, easy, simple landing page, integrate Aweber, change out your fields, redirect to wherever you want them to go. So let me just give you a few scenarios. Maybe you are uh, in network marketing. You can literally capture a lead and then redirect someone to your business opportunity video for your company. But on the front end, you're still generic. Or let's say, for example, you are an affiliate marketer and you just want to collect the lead on the front end. Maybe you're selling a ClickBank product on the back end for a weight loss product, but you want to build your list. So use Thrive Leads, collect that lead on the front end, and then redirect them uh, in that link where I showed you, redirect them to your ClickBank capture page or your ClickBank offer page. Okay. I mean, really, it's endless what you can do, but uh Thrive Leads is obviously for those people that want to start building a list and uh, start, you know, building upon that list to continue sending offers to your email list. So anyhow, I truly hope that this helped you. I hope you can see how uh, you can go ahead and easily integrate Aweber with Thrive uh, Themes. So really, the possibilities are endless. So anyhow, guys, I really hope that you found this valuable. Um, if you haven't set up your blog already and you haven't set up your Thrive Themes already, uh, I encourage you to go ahead and download my free Build a Blog Cheat Sheet. It's an eight video uh, tutorial course that shows you exactly how to get your blog, your authority blog set up and running. And you can start using this, you know, this training that I've just given you to start, you know, uh, do affiliate marketing or start building a list for your network marketing company, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, so yeah, so anyway, there's going to be links in the description box for Thrive Leads, um, a Weber, if you don't have a Weber already, uh, I'll have all those links in the description box below. And if you have any questions, please make sure to leave your comments down below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. And if you like this video, please go ahead and like my video and subscribe to my channel. And if it did help you and it gave you an aha moment, 
please consider sharing it with a friend. So thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been Barbie Figueroa. Make sure to visit my website at www.barbiefigueroa.online. I've got a lot of marketing training tips and resources to help you build your business online. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.